Next question. <laughs> it's not me who makes it complicated, you know. know. They make the system complicated. Anne. Hi, Anne. Hi. Hi. Right, what would you like to ask? Oh, right, I've got £8,000. Currently, half of it's in um, an instant ISA, and the other half I've got in premium bonds, and I'm just wondering where the best place is to put it for the maximum interest. Uh, what's your ISA paying? Um, £8,000 total. No, what, how, what's the interest rate? Oh, sorry, it's, I'm just getting about £1.50 a, a, a month. Oh, and how much is in there? Wow, OK, yeah, now you're testing me. Oh, OK, it's trivial. It's about a quarter of a percent or something. Um, uh, yeah, it's fine. Well, that's awful. Look, premium bonds are very difficult to, to work out whether they're better or worse. The rate is going to be dropping on them, but at the moment the rate isn't too bad. But, of course, it depends on luck because it's a lottery of whether you'll get the interest or not. If you're happy with that and you want to take that gamble, it's not the worst thing in the world. For the rest of the money, or if you want to move it all across, um, things I'd look at at the moment, switching to high interest bank accounts really pays for you. Bank of Scotland is offering 3% on up to £5,000 and you can have three of them, though you've got to set up direct debits and minimum payments on all of them. That's dropping to 2% in June, but that's still pretty good out there. One other thing I'd look at, and I'd say this right now for everybody listening, on the 6th of April, announced in the budget, there's a new NS&I bond that is meant to be very generous. It basically, it pays 2.2% fixed for three years on up to £3,000. That's going to be launching on the 6th of April. But right now, Atom Bank, which is an app-operated bank, is offering 2.2% fixed for three years on up to £100,000. Wow. Now, of course, you only get the saving safety protection, and it's fully saving safety protected, up to £85,000 per person, so you might not want to put more than that in it. But you could put all your money in there at 2.2% for three years, which is, you know, anomalously high compared to the rest of the market, or lock it away for two years at 2.1% with the same place, or one year at 1.8%. If you just want somewhere to put your savings where you don't have to switch to a, a, a bank account to do it, that's very have good. Got, have you and got, that's going to go quick, because those rates are going to disappear quick, I would say. Have you got access? Will she have access to her £8,000 no. if she puts it in there? It's no, so it's a one-year fix, a two-year fix, or a three-year fix. You put the money in, you can't touch it for that time. Do you need access to it? Uh, no, not really, no. Then, then those are, and especially because most 95% of people don't pay tax on savings interest anymore because you're allowed to earn £1,000 of interest a year as a basic rate taxpayer without paying tax on it. I would think either go to the high interest bank accounts or Atom, Atom Bank. It dropped its one-year fixed rate last week. I think the other rates are going to drop, so Get in there speed quick. if you're going to do it. Thank All you. right.